Welcome to another quick tip video here from the DJPodcast.com. First, I'd like to start off by thanking Epitone 900 for submitting this tip. Let's say that you have two tracks in your Ableton Live session. First got track A, and it's at 134 BPM. Then you have track B, and it is at 137 BPM. When you're mixing between these two tracks, you want to have Ableton Live speed up so that it matches the second track. How are you going to do that? Well, you could do by some sort of weird MIDI mapping. You could also go up and, you know, type in 137 and hit enter right as you mix. But there's actually a very easy way to do that that Ableton Live has that I had no idea about until it was talked about by Epitone. All right, so what you're going to want to do is go over here, and you can see here on the master channel, you have your different scenes, right? All you have to do is right-click on a scene, and then you can and go to rename. And you can type in the BPM you want. So let's say for this we're going to do 137 BPM. Hit enter. Now you can see that this triangle here becomes orange. So let's say that we're playing our first scene here. You can see that we are at 134 BPM. And when I click this button here, it's going to speed up to 137 BPM. So there, it launches that new clip or track. And Ableton Live automatically speeds up to 137 BPM. Now that's really great, but let's take this a step further. Let's say that you are, for some reason, mixing in 3 fourths time, and you want to switch that to, say, 4 fourths time. You can also do that. Just right-click on the scene, click Rename, and type 4, backslash 4. Hit Enter. Now you'll see that, once again, the triangle turns orange, and when you launch that scene, it'll switch. This is really great if you like to start your mixes at a lowish BPM, get them a little bit high during the middle of the mix, and end back down maybe around 128 or something. This is another quick tip from the DJPodcast.com. Thanks for watching.